Hello. Hey guys. Aaron from the Ball Pit here. Back with another episode of Titan Quest. We left off here at the Desert Waste. And we're going to continue on. Onward. Into the desert. Oh. oh, I popped a potion. I didn't want to do that. I only have 198 of them. I'm going to use them all up. Okay, so there actually is something here that I want to do. So I want to take this Ring of Endowment that has offensive ability to the Altar of Separation and recover the Relic, which is the essence of Dionysus's wine skin. However, I would like to go to the Caravan before I put it on this new ring I got, just to make sure there's nothing I would prefer. Yep, alright, so I am good to put the essence of Dionysus wineskin on this. So, the essence of Dionysus wineskin gives a 6% physical resistance, plus 45 health, and plus 25 defensive ability. I will be putting that on the engraved Ring of Thunder, which gives plus 10% lightning damage, plus 10% electrical burn damage, and 8 lightning damage to give us just a little extra oomph whenever we hit somebody, you know? A little extra shebang, a little extra, a little extra, uh, a bow wow wow, you know, as the kids say. Oh, that's a big scorpion. I guess that's why it's called the Colossal Scorpion. It's a fitting name. All right, let's go down into this, uh, whatever this is, an ancient tomb. Oh God. Ooh, there's statues of Anubis in here. That's cool. Makes sense. It is a tomb. I always... Tombs are either just like... Just really big things where there's a bunch of annoying undead skeletons and stuff. Or there's some fucked up boss somewhere in here. Or hero monster or something I have to fight. They're either like super worthless and pretty easy. Just a waste of time. Or they're super difficult because of the boss. There's never a middle ground. Man, all of these um, things had stuff in them. It's pretty cool. Usually there's at least, you know, at like a, a, at least like a third of them are... Uh, oh, well, there's the hero monster. Ooh, 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 ooh. They have these things, too. Alright, Mummified Hero's dead. Ooh, a letter to Mummy. What the fuck is that? What is the letter to Mummy? Dear Mummy, camp has been great. I've earned lots of merit badges, and Mr. Smithicus told me I was better at bandaging and first aid than anyone he's ever seen. We also get to see a guest speaker every Wednesday. You should come, then everyone can see that I'm related to a famous rapper. The food is awful, though. They don't know how to cook a decent meal for us undead folk. I wish someone would make the chefs earn their keep. I get it, earn, like U-R-N. Really, it's a pretty grave situation altogether. In fact, yesterday something on my plate moved. I was really crypt out. Oh my god, the puns on this are crazy. Anyway, enough about me. How are you doing down there in the land of sunshine and monoliths? Still making money off that pyramid scheme? Keep it up and you'll be set for life. That's amazing. This is the best. What? Why? Why is this a thing? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I love that. I'm... I'm very, I'm very happy that I've come in this tomb now. This tomb was so worth it. I resend everything that I said before. It was so worth it coming here. <laughs> Look at this, like, ruined city. Where are we? I guess we're headed down, yeah, into, like, the, the actual, like, deserty part. I don't specifically know, like, Arson's qu quarter of what, you know? 
I don't know. I guess we'll have to continue to find out, Aaron. It's fucking dickhead. Stop questioning shit, you know? You gotta play more like James. I don't care about the lore. Just more play the game. <laughs> Rebirth Fountain. We're gonna keep going. It is a short episode so far. What's this way? All right, well, that, what's the point of having that fucking over there? Like, uh, all right, keep going. Whoa. Oh, shit, we're back. So we just did a whole loop. Yeah, I guess you do a loop and there's like a... You enter there and you exit like here or something. Huh. Well, we're back. Here's the one. You there. There you are. Imhotep. Ah, yep. The eye of chaos and the hand of yep. They combine to form the scepter of eternity. Ah, Alright, let's go. I got two attribute points. It doesn't look like it worked. Why, this, this oh, cannot I was right. Uh-huh. The gods cannot help us. We're now truly on our own. We must never stop trying. Telkin has been rampaging through Egypt, has ravaged a number of sites guarded by the Order of the Prometheus. These sites hold powerful artifacts from the ancient war. Clearly, the Telkin is looking for something because the artifact's mysterious powers. We've guarded thousands of years. There's too much text at one time. Text wall. There's only one site that's untouched in all of Egypt. Why would you ignore that? That's like, that's the most logical shit. If he's attacking all the sites and there's one left, he's going to go there. Let's go to the Tomb of Ramses, last site in the Valley of the Kings. Head up the Nile to Thebes and from there to the Valley and the Tomb. Look for signs of Telkin's passage. Whoever he's searching for must not fall in his hands. Okay. Had you not already slain a Telkin, I would say all is lost. Alright, I'm good on side quests. Main quests, I gotta keep going. Oh, I got two attribute points. Nope, not it. This attribute points. Um, uh, let's do health and strength. Rebirth Fountain. Crocodile Dundee. I don't know why I have to hit the, the crocodiles. If Steve Irwin taught me anything, it's that they can be my friends. They can be my friends. Yeah, so it looks as though I still can't change my gear because I don't have enough strength. Because um, a lot of my gear currently has strength giving buffs which helps me obviously be able to uh put on different levels of gear and stuff so i can't change out that gear because then i lose the strength giving buff and then it lowers my strength and i don't have enough so we're gonna stay the same as of right this very second The Upper Nile. So, the reason it's called the Upper Nile, even though it's technically, if you guys have been paying attention, in the southern part of Egypt, is because the Nile flows backwards. Um, so it flows from south to north instead of north to south like a lot of other rivers. So early Egyptians didn't, you know, didn't know that. So they said that the place where it flowed from, being the south, was obviously the higher part because it's flowing downward, you know. So they call this the Upper Nile. The more you know. Oh shit! Mystic Shield! I have a Mystic Shield. Oh, this one is better. Slightly. Yeah, 
This one here is better slightly. Cool. A slightly better mystic shield. Ooh, we're just in a little... Oh, what is this tomb rot? Get your fucking tomb rot weird green shit away from me. Get it away from me. Oh. Repungent decay. Oh. A little upgrade from the tomb rot, huh? That decay is repungent. Yes, 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 yes. This fucking stupid ass cave. Like, what's even the point of that other than making me fight this dumb shit? I got no loot. There was This is what I was talking about before. Uh, I was distracted by that funny note. It's like, what is the point of that existing? And I am actually going to stop it right there. I know it feels like a, not a ton happened this episode. It's going to be a really short episode. But, like, it's just at that point where I know if I go further, there's going to be a, over an hour of recording. And I don't feel like doing that again. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we tried to combine the stuff and just couldn't hack it. So... We're going to go slay us a Telkeen in the coming episodes. So make sure you come back to tune in for some of that. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I will see you guys later. Bye now.